France won the World Cup. It's not a uh, pivotal to the series, but I feel like you might be interested. If you look at the date, you might also be interested that the transfer window is about to open. Hey guys, and welcome back to the fourth episode of the FM23 Manchester United Beta Save with me, Raxo FM, and without Cristiano Ronaldo. Where today we are versing Arsenal, simulating the game against Fulham and Blackburn, and then versing Liverpool in two games that are during. Well, the first one isn't, but it's, it's mostly going to be during the January transfer window. So you're not only going to get two incredible games where we could be potentially dropping some serious points because there are good teams that we are versing today, but also it could be our chance to get some signings in the door. We have a wee bit of money left over, have a couple of players that I'm keeping an eye on, and a couple of players that could be leaving the football club. Already won. Spoiled down there. Got to go back onto the screen. Makes it look nice. There we go. If you are excited about today's episode, please make sure you do smash the like button, as well as subscribing to the Rex or Fem YouTube channel, so you don't miss more Football Manager content with this save, and of course, transfer guides coming here and there. Can you please smash 15 likes on today's video? We have been absolutely loving the series so far. Hundreds of views, left, right, and center. So I'm really grateful for that. Hopefully in this transfer special, you'll hit that target. And since last time we saw each other, first of all, while I'm thinking about it, we have some players almost winning the player of the year. Holland managed to win it, but Bruno Fernandes was third in both of the awards and ended up being in the World Eleven. And De Gea, third for the best goalkeeper race. So pretty cool to have those players in that sort of competition. Since last time we saw each other, the last game that we covered was against Quarabag and we simulated all these games, won all of them, apart from a nil draw and getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup. I mean, the board can't be chuffed about that, but I do have a feeling that it probably wasn't really something that we cared about. No, they did want us to be competitive in it. Oh well. Hey, now we've got more time to focus on different things as well as the transfers happening right now. Alex Quinzebe has been re-signed for another year, so he's not leaving. Don't you worry about that. We've also got Phil Jones who is definitely leaving the club. He didn't want to re-sign, so I thought, yeah, let's accept a bid for him while we can get some money. And uh, we have 17 million pounds, so a wee bit of money to spend. Got some players on the shortlist. The one that I really want is in Kunku. Really, really want in Kunku for 56 mil. I feel like that is a bargain, but we would have to get rid of some players before we could even think about getting that man in. So I'm thinking Martial, Lindelof, Maguire, those kind of players will be going. McTominay as well. We're just going to try and offer out people as soon as the trans window opens. But this is the team that we're going with for the game against Arsenal. We still haven't dropped a single point in the Premier League campaign. I'm ready to go once again. This could certainly be the game where we drop a point. Look, Arsenal away from home. They are incredible in real life right now. But uh, in this game, I, I do feel like they're probably not quite as good, but probably still a very solid 11 with incredible players like Gabriel Jesus, Saka, Odegaard, Martinelli. You, you guys know the lineup for Arsenal by now. And of course, you know our lineup. Let's jump into it and let's hopefully win another game. They are down in sixth place, but look, the, the team on paper, it's going to compete and it's certainly going to cause us a headache. Why is Tierney on the right and Tommy Yasu on the left? And that really bothers me. I mean, I know that they can both play technically on either flank, but hey, I would rather have my left back and right back on their preferred sides. But that's just my opinion. It could help us in this game, actually. 30 minutes gone, no highlights to speak about, and very few XG coming up. Very low XG coming up, sorry, is what I should have said. So it doesn't actually seem like either side is really peppering the goal. We do win the ball back here, though. Varane, the World Cup winner, is on it. Plays it into Martinez, into Eriksen, back into Varane. Varane trying to move it forward and finding a wee pocket of space, but eventually passes to Dallow, to Eriksen. Eriksen down the line to Anthony, who's been playing very well off camera. Can't get a ball into the mixer very well there. And Eriksen's shot is not even troubling um, Aaron Ramsdale in between the sticks. So not the best first highlight, but another one comes straight away. And if we can win this one, I think we could be having a real opportunity. The first highlight was a bit average, but... Uh, I feel like this one's going to be half decent, but it does look like it's Arsenal's chance. Saka running forward, looks for the cutback. Odegaard, but what a save by De Gea. That has got to be the best save I've seen in this year's Football Manager. What a save. Wow, he's he's just taken that out of top draw. He has no right to be saving that. That's why De Gea is the third best goalkeeper in the world, apparently. 
What a stop. Made sure that we win the game here if it does come down to a one goal win. Hopefully, could score there. But Rashford, he's on form as well. Can't get it past his English teammate, who I imagine was at the World Cup with him. Uh, uh, Aaron Ramsdale, I'm pretty sure Rashford went to the World Cup. It would be absolute broad daylight robbery if he didn't. But Sancho didn't go to the World Cup. And in this save, he is tearing it up. So not exactly thinking Southgate has the best managerial selection decisions in this save. So I wouldn't be surprised if Rashford got left out. Speaking of the man, he's running forward, looking to get it past. And he does. And that is unfortunate for Arsenal. But very, very fortunate for us. I don't know how that's ended up in the back of the net. Bit of a deflection near post situation i don't really know we're gonna to have to take a look at the replay to see what actually happened it looked like rashford hit the ball got deflected and it came back off him yeah that's exactly what's happened and i don't know how it's done ramsdale but it has and we're one new up and i'm not going to complain about it two minutes of additional time gone by and we are winning this game at half time you got to say you're happy with the performance out there obviously when you're winning away from home against Arsenal, it's always going to be a happy team talk at halftime. Martinez, mate, I'm thinking I need a new centre-back. He is... Look, I, 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 we, we're getting clean sheets, but he's, he's getting really low average ratings in comparison to the rest of the team. The fact that he's two and a half star does concern me. And Maguire and Lindelof, both playing Premier League football here and there, are getting higher average ratings. I'm wondering whether I should be looking for a new centre-back a little bit more desperately. I am going to bring Maguire on because he just does do quite well. Actually, we're completely switching up the centre-backs because Varane is looking tired too. And that does feel like a risky move, but I do back my two substitutes. I think they're great players in this game at the very least. And they'll do a job for us. I'll keep a clean sheet. I promise. I absolutely promise. Correa is also going to come on for Anthony just because he's quite tired on that right-hand side. He's probably not quite suited to that inside forward, or even really the right inside, but he will do a job for us for the last half an hour of this game. Tomiyasu with the throw-in doesn't quite get it to one of his teammates, but Thomas Partey does win the knockdown. Lakonga goes for the long shot, and luckily for us, it goes just over the bar. 20 minutes to go. More substitutes imminent, I reckon. I think I might wait a wee bit longer, especially with this highlight coming our way. Malasia playing it forward. By the way, Shaw, also not a part of that English lineup very disappointed not to see that because you know he's been on form and and england don't really have a left back so uh so he, he was out of it but malicia uh is in the starting lineup today because Shaw is injured or suspended one or the other as we hit the post there and i don't talk about it because it was more important for me to talk about what i was talking about in my mind lamar also coming on switch those two around and that's what we're going to do for the last couple of minutes of this game it does seem a little counterintuitive to bring on fresh legs up front when we are defending a pretty difficult lead and uh it's kind of been proven there as arsenal put it into the back of the net it's been reviewed but i think i think it's a goal i think this could be our first i love footy manager i love footy manager i don't know how that's disallowed i'm totally looking at that i just kicked the 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 the, the, the table that is off that is off but it really did not look off it did not look off. I, I'm hoping that is enough to put us through across the line for another win. Come on, maximum points out of 18 games. That is incredible, by the way. 18 games, unbeaten, not even drawing in the Premier League. <sighs> uh, I didn't expect that at the start of the season. And it is making me think maybe this game is a wee bit too easy to start with. Hey, look, I'm an incredible football manager player, but I'm not this good. 18 wins out of 18 wins. We are 16 points clear of Liverpool. Yeah, no, we need a bit of a challenge at some point. And look, I'm complaining about a centre-back game, 6.85, but we haven't lost a single game. So maybe Martinez needs to get a little less heat from me because we are still winning them left, right and centre. So we're going to simulate forward now, potentially sell some players. I don't think a signing will come, but of course in the next episode, you never know what will happen off camera. Let's versus Liverpool, but first I need to beat, well, I don't really care that much about Blackburn. I mean, I, I, I'm expecting to beat, beat them, but Fulham, I'd be really gutted if we didn't beat them. We're ready to go and it's about to get underway, but first, obviously you can see we didn't lose our last match. Luckily we did manage to beat Fulham, but we lost to Blackburn, and 
in hindsight, I, I should have said at the start of this episode that I did also want to win that game, but we, we lost it. Very annoyingly. We did rotate the team, but we shouldn't have lost. Tuna win against Fulham, though, is a decent result and transfers to talk about. That's why you're here. Since last time we saw each other, we have managed to bring in Danny Ceballos. And to be honest, he's not the best player I could ever sign. But when a man like this comes in Ocken for £1.1 million, I feel like you have to do it. He is locked down for what, like four years now? Sorry, two years now, actually. But I still feel like he's a very good signing. Going to be a solid rotation player for us. 26 years of age, can improve better than the players that we have at the moment. So welcome to the club, Danny. Have we sold anyone, though? We have. We have, actually. Massive sales. How have I not remembered this? Harry Maguire is gone. And he has gone to Real Madrid. I am so surprised that they wanted to pick him up. And I'm so, so surprised that we could get 20 mil from a man that isn't playing many games for us right now. We've managed to sell for a decent bit of money, even though we did bring him in for 80 million. I'm very happy with that fee. I think we do need to improve the centre-back position, especially with him gone now. But I think it was worth it to get rid of him. And Phil Jones is officially confirmed to have left for £1.3 million. Decent job by us. Let's jump into this game. Lindelof on the bench now with Maguire not there. I won't be interested in selling him at all now because I think he'll be a pretty decent rotation option for us. And the other reason, Twan Zabe is also a decent player who can do a job for us if we need. So I'm not too worried about the centre-back, but a really high-quality one next to Varane would be decent. Aside from that, that is the squad. So Bios could be making his debut off the bench. I mean, I imagine he probably is, but in this kind of game, it is going to be a difficult situation for him because Liverpool are a top squad up in the high spots in the Premier League, I assume. I actually don't know, but obviously we haven't even drawn a single game this year away from home at Anfield. You have to expect to be really up against it no matter how good your recent form has been. Their third place, this is going to be a challenge. Let's see. We could be dropping our first points of the season, but I back the boys. I always believe in them. Can they put on a show and can they get a win for us tonight? The first highlight is coming. Oh, I'm actually adjusting my settings. Was it our way? I think it was our way. And it didn't end up being a goal. It looked like a, a scramble on the line. Sorry, I was completely off the screen. I didn't see that. I mean, I, th I think we nearly scored, but we didn't. So we go again. De Gea smashes it forward. Rashford's not going to get onto the end of that. Matip trying to play out. Does find Virgil. I think they've done enough to be able to get a clearance out, but they're actually going to keep playing it out. Virgil, back into Ellison, does smash it long now, wins a knockdown, but we win it straight back. Anthony, all the way over, can't find anyone though. We're going to win this though. No, we don't. Virgil picks it up, back to Ellison again. They're playing it out from the back. This has got to be someone's highlight very soon, and it looks like it could be ours. Dello into Varane. Varane smashes it forward. Rashford's through. It is a poor race by Ellison. And Rashford has stayed onside, not it into the back of the net. And that is just a situation, just like in FIFA. You hold down the wire with the triangle button, button and you realise, probably shouldn't have done that. The goalkeeper has no right to be coming out that far. And especially when Rashford is the man going through on goal. We are 1-0 up and we will certainly take that, even with a very average goalkeeping display, causing the goal for us. Come on, let's keep the clean sheet here. Let's not concede now. Virgil van Dijk heads it over the bar. That was a very dangerous situation for us. But luckily we have come through the other side. 15 minutes to go in this half. That Liverpool side, it is, it is good. Like, I think they, they should be causing us more problems that we are than they are, sorry. But we are such a good team at the moment. I just don't understand how we keep winning games left, right and centre. Can we get another goal here? Casemiro, back into Anthony. Eriksen's trying to get on the end of it. I've realised I'm actually starting Mal Malasia. It's not really... What I wanted to do, but hey, Shaw's getting a rest, I guess. Uh, Henderson running forward, it is going to be their chance, I reckon. Into Salah, all the way over to Diaz. He's got space, he's got time, and he's got the onside flag. Is he going to get a good ball in? Varane, he, he clears it long, but no one wants to go towards it. Sorry, I was confused by that for a second. Cut, Salah cuts in, shoots just wide, and oh my goodness, that, that really should have been a goal. Mohamed Salah, when he cuts in onto that left foot, you can normally expect them to rifle it into the back of the net. And we are very lucky that he hasn't done it there. Shaw is on my bench, eh? Yeah. I don't know why. I guess I auto-picked this team and, and just didn't look deep enough into it. But we will make some substitutes soon. I imagine Shaw will be coming on to get uh, get that experience at left-back. 
uh, Sulla not quite being closed down based off that highlight that we were just shown by Malassia. Uh, that's how you say it, Malassia. That's how you say it. He does win the header there. Sancho can only pick it up very deep in our half, but at least we're playing it out, and at least we're keeping the ball. Can we keep it here? We do. Sancho into Bruno Fernandes, back into Casemiro. He looks for the ball to Anthony. Anthony's through. Can he finish it? Very tight angle. Very tight angle, and it is blocked by Robertson, so you can't complain about winning the corner from that. Just one minute on the clock for the second half, and it already looks like it's going to be an exciting one with them coming towards us, us coming straight back towards them. But who's going to win the game? I have no idea at this point in time. I would, I would, I would normally take a draw away from home against and uh, the the Liverpool side at Anfield, but today, uh, today I do want to win because we haven't lost a single game, even drop points. I think that is a goal. I think it's going to go. It is. It is a goal. He didn't look offside to me. I didn't see any issue with that. Playing it back into Fabinho. Salah is miles on. There's no issues there. It's a very tidy finish. When you give that man that kind of space, it's going to happen. Sancho's extremely tight on that left-hand side. I think he must have picked up an injury. So we'll get Ortavio on. See how he does on that side. I think he'll be fine as an inverted winger. Malasia is looking tight as well, so Shaw can come on. And we're going to give Danny Ceballos a decent debut. It's got to be done. Like, you can't not sign a new player and give him a good run in the squad. He could be the winner for us. If he wins this game, I think that automatically makes the, the £1.1 million worth it. And he's actually putting a great ball to Otavio there. Otavio into Anthony. Can't quite get onto it. Ceballos trying, win to, trying to win the ball there. Can't quite do it. And it is Luis Diaz on the ball. Tackled by Dello though. And he's marching forward into Anthony. Anthony into Bruno. Bruno to make it 2-1. That is an incredible save. I, I, I was confused by what was happening, so I stopped talking to, to assess the situation. Then I got speechless, and Otavio really should have scored there. What a ball across the face of the box by Hernandez, and what a mere by Otavio to not finish that off. That needs to be a goal. Gutted about that. Lamar's coming on. Going to be inside forward on that right-hand side. Oh, I feel like another substitute might need to be made, but we're not going to make it right this second. 20 minutes to go. We really should be winning this game after that highlight. Oh my goodness, Otavio, mate. That's got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal. Even if the goalkeeper was in position, that's got to be a goal. And now we are absolutely ruining that chance missed and regretting even being greedy, asking for a win, because now we just want to draw. Oh, no. What sub do I make? Correa? It's got to be Correa, doesn't it? It really does have to be. Fernandez is coming off just to get some fresh legs out there. I know Fernandez is an incredible player, but we're going to get Correa out there. We're going to go attacking. We're going to demand more for the last couple of minutes. This could be our first loss. It really could be. Salah's through, cleared off the line. I feel like that's not even the highlight because it's come really quickly. That is the highlight. That's the highlight, Casemiro. Sloppily bringing down Thiago in the box, giving them a penalty. And all but confirming our first loss of the season. It's Mohamed Salah, I'm sure, to be stepping up to take it. He doesn't miss penalties very often, this man. And he scores it. 3-1, just a couple of minutes ago. We've got to go very attacking. We've got to go very direct. It's the only way we're going to get a goal here. But I don't think it's our day. And you, you do think to yourself, what if what if Otavio could have scored that goal? Could have put the ball into the back of the net from point-blank point range. I think it would have been his first goal in the Premier League as well. But he couldn't do it. And now they're on the attack again. Salah confirms it. 4-1 is so flattering to them. And it is kind of frustrating now because that, that, just, that just is not a scoreline that reflect, reflects the gameplay here. But they've got it. They've got the win. They've got the three points. They've robbed us of our... Well, not really robbed. They deserve it here. But, you know, taken our chance of being undefeated this year. And actually, it's a, it's a very good performance to do it. Alison Becker smashes it long. Are they going to get one last highlight? Or are we going to get one last chance to get a consolation? 4-2 feels a lot better. I think it's going to be them attacking us again. Salah down the right-hand side. Back into Dodo. Dodo looking for a ball into the mix of finds Fabinho. But it is... Sorry, Firmino... Is cleared out. Kite is on the edge. Goes for the shot. Just wide of the mark. And that has got to be game, set, and match. Four minutes of additional time are up. And we've lost a football game, boys and girls. 
Oh, that stings. That is really annoying because, yeah, the chances in the game could have gone our way, but I just didn't. I am livid about that. Uh, well, at least that's what I'm going to say about uh, to, to the players, but realistically, I'm not that fuming. We were always going to lose a game, especially against top clubs like that, and we're still 12 points clear of the side below us. That is now Liverpool. We're going to win the Prem. We could win the Europa League too. We need to focus on transfers for now because we still have what 33 million pounds to spend i can deal with that boys and girls i can deal with that next time we see each other i imagine we'll be back for the i'll, I'll probably cover the arsenal game and the europa league game even though the, the the january transfer window will have closed ages after that i mean realistically it you want to know how our signings are doing. So you'll get that. You'll get the January transfer window, deadline day signings. You'll get the Arsenal game. And you'll get the Europa League round of 16. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Film YouTube channel so you don't miss more Football Manager content coming your way. Thank you all for watching. I'm quitting the game and saving it as, as I'm doing this outro because I've got to go make dinner. And I'll see you all later. Oh, you can see my, my saves. I don't know, that's not dodgy, is it? I mean, there's nothing bad there. See you later.